Hey guys, the point of this footage was to show you a new bracket that I was making for a high speed spindle. I wanted to have something that could give me uh, a much higher RPM for my engraving so I could get higher feed rates. And I was about 45 minutes into this footage when I realized my mill was being way too quiet. And I was in my office, which is just down the hall from my shop. And it took me about 35 seconds, you'll see in the footage, before I realized something was wrong and then was able to get to my mill and shut everything down. Of course, everything was already shut off by then and you're gonna hear that. You'll hear right when the motor dies and then a few seconds later after everything's bound up nice and hard and uh, Linux CNC is still trying to go, then there's a click and that's my power strip overloading and finally shutting everything down. So I ruined this end mill, I ruined the, uh, the part to some degree and uh, I torched the motor. And I'm gonna show you that now. So you're gonna listen to that and I'll, I'll stop talking for a couple minutes. What the shit? Okay, so pretty fun, right? Here you can see the white smoke billowing out of the top of the motor. And I'll show you here in just a second, I do a complete teardown. The motor stank like it was burnt. And when I turned, when I would turn on the mill, you could hear this popping and hissing and all the lights in my shop would flicker. So I tore it apart just to verify. And sure enough, you're going to see here in just a second, one of the bundles of uh, conductors in the armature have actually welded together. So this motor is completely junk. Now I called Grizzly. They've discontinued this motor. And the reason is because too many people are burning them up. Uh, they've replaced it with a new model. It has the same part number and then it's like V2 after the part number. And it's basically the same motor, but with a internal breaker. That said, by the time you buy the motor and the accessories uh, that you have to have to run that new motor, I think it requires a new motor cover. I can't remember some other things. Uh, you're going to be $150 or more plus shipping. And I've never liked the power output of this motor. I've never liked the speed that it puts out. Here you can see that uh, welded bundle of wires in the armature. It's all discolored and it's totally, <laughs> it, it's toast. But we're going to take this opportunity to go with a belt drive conversion, bigger motor. Um, I've got bearings already. I've got the, uh, the fancy spindle grease already. I've got the controller for the motor. And in fact, here are the motors I've got on hand. Uh, the two on the left are a couple of 3.8 horsepower treadmill motors. And with the controller I have, I can run them at three horsepower. Um, they're monstrous compared to the one on the far right, which is the stock uh, mill motor. Uh, so I've got those two motors. The problem is one of them's got a very bent shaft from damage during shipping. And one of them, I think the one on the left has a very slightly bent shaft, but I think I can use it. Um, but the shiny motor, uh, that's actually the high speed spindle that I was built, that I was going to mount on the side of the, the head with that bracket that I was making. And this thing does 8,000 to 24,000 RPM. It's a AC three phase motor. And I think I could actually use that as a drive motor if I gear it down quite a bit, maybe do a high range of like three to one and a low range of, I don't know, six to one. I guess it depends on what size of pulleys I can fit. Uh, so still doing some research on that. If you guys have any, uh, you know, ideas or thoughts, go ahead and post them below. In fact, while you're doing that, hit the like button. And if you're a visitor to my channel, hit subscribe. And uh, I'll be documenting this entire process with all the upgrades to come. Uh, thanks for watching.